Hello everybody. Yep, I'm back. It's Anne. How are you? And yeah, I've got some makeup on. I had fun doing it. I've got it on Instagram and Twitter. I've got some different jewelry on from that particular setup. What I've got currently got on is a combination of stuff that some of it I made, some of it I bought. These fancy ones with all of the little filigree work and stuff, those were bought. This I made, this I made, this one I bought, this I made, this is bought and belonged to my baby sister who passed away quite some time back. And this is the mate for the other bought one that's got the uh, amber hanging from it. Now, the reason I'm starting with that is because part of what I'm grateful for is a list of things that has to do with some of what was in the five things that you don't know about me. And that would be some of my crafting skills. I can sew, and I can make jewelry, and I can spin, and I'm very grateful for those skills. I'm also very grateful for the memories that have come from working with those skills and meeting people because of those skills and exchanging information with people because of those skills. I've met some incredible people. And yes, I actually do wear this many earrings or ear cuffs on a semi-regular basis because I like them. Yes, all this dangly stuff. I like it. It's fun, kind of like playing with makeup. So, yeah, it's great fun. Yes, I keep telling people I am not your average grandma. One of the other things that I am grateful for is the food we have stocked up in the cabinets and in the freezer and that some of that food came from our own garden and because we're able to can we'll have it through the winter to keep feeding ourselves it's a very good thing because food is expensive and we've got a lot of people in this house to feed. So I am very grateful for the fact that we had food come from our garden and that we have the skills to do the canning to preserve it. I'm also very grateful for my skills as a baker. Now, my husband has snuck in on my territory when it comes to baking. He's actually gotten better at bread, at least biscuits and rolls, than I am. However, I can still walk circles around him and not smear my eyeliner doing pies. Now, when I'm doing pies, we have some old-fashioned recipes that I like to work with. I can do homemade from scratch mincemeat pies. I do pecan pies. I do my own pie crust. I don't buy it. It's much better that way. <laughs> Yeah, it's quicker and easier if you buy it and if you don't have a really good touch for doing a pie crust, then yeah, you're sometimes better off 
doing the bought version. You don't want a tough pie crust no matter what you do and some people tend to overwork it. The last thing that I'm going to say about being grateful at least for this series this part of the series is that I am grateful for everyone who bothers to watch my videos and I'm grateful when you comment I'm grateful when you give a thumbs up I'm grateful when you recommend me to other people I have over the last couple of weeks kind of had a bloom in subscribers I'm only a couple away from 40 now when I get to 100 there will probably be some sort of a bit of a giveaway I'm not telling you what because I have no idea what it's gonna be and I do believe I've got some time to work on figuring out what it's gonna be but I am very grateful for this outlet I am very grateful for the encouragement I've gotten now let's get on with the rest of this what is going to follow is a collection of pictures that have a lot to do with what I've just been talking about. I have collection, a collection of pictures that includes things like my wedding dress that took nine months to create and the canned goods that we've created and some of my other crafting projects like sweater I made for my grandson and a blanket I made and a quilt I made and some of my pies <laughs> pretty pictures there will be some nifty music to go with it and I hope you enjoy
I hope you enjoyed the, the pictures. I hope you enjoyed the music. I hope you're having a good evening or day, week or weekend. I appreciate you all for being here. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. If you subscribe, please hit the little bell for notifications. That way you'll know if I put anything else up. If you're back, hi, thank you, missed you. Hope you stay around. If you leave me a thumbs up, you will make an old woman very happy. If you leave me a comment, you'll probably also make me very happy. As long as it's not rude. Mm, I'm picky. What can I say? Be good.